Apparently, the prices of posho are really high. Like the money we used to buy rice, the money we used to use to buy rice, currently does not even afford posho. So I sat down and said, the money I used to buy for food is pretty much. How about if I plant my own maize and make my own posho? How is that going to be? And so I had to. everyone you are welcome to my youtube channel asperia keo gabaga now if you have been noticing my channel i changed my name from marriage tips to just my name and so we shall be having content that is mixed marriage family farming things that we can do in our families and you know we become these rich aunties that we have always wanted to be so in this particular video i'm going to share with you some of the things that you can do as a housewife if you are at home maybe you haven't you know found a job or you quit your job maybe to raise your children some of the few things you can do to just have your own money in the pocket and so the very first thing you need to know before you think of doing anything what is your passion like what are you passionate about what is that thing that your heart loves really so much that one after you have identified it is the best thing for you to do some people love farming like maybe planting crops like you can see mine here i do love farming so much some people love doing animals like poultry as you can see in the background if i change my camera you can be able to see the house that is a house of chicken like so many people love a lot of things However, others love things like weaving, you know, making hair, others love baking, others love, you know, making a lot of things. Now, think through and see what you are good at. And when I realized myself, I, what I'm passionate about, I changed my mindset about everything and I had to wake up from the dreams I used to have and started out something. And trust me, it's doing something great as you can see around my home you see a lot of vegetables the things that we buy a lot in our homes and so if you do that the first thing you do is you minimize the money that you spend on the food that you're supposed to eat at your home the money you're supposed to buy to use buy all these vegetables you can use it to make your hair you know the money you're supposed to use to buy tomatoes buy matoke expensive food you can use it to pay school fees for your children and people will come and buy if you move around and tell people i have something i'm selling you know i'm doing this and that people are going to come and buy and you will have money so i would advise someone if you have land around your home or if you can be able to live or rent some land you can be able to do farming do something that you love don't start with big things that you can't manage start with something that you can love that you can be able to supervise alongside your housework as you're rearing children as you're doing cleaning chores and everything you are able to be supervising all the work that is going on and you're able to participate in the work eventually you can grow and grow and make something bigger for us we were chance that we had some land some piece of land that we had and so i decided to begin with planting vegetables that are very affordable in the community and that i can also eat at my home as you can see this is sukuma week or what they call collards these things are really sweet and people in my community really love them so much and so when they came and saw the garden they were all interested and many of them came to buy at some point i even lacked supply like so i had to create more space uh by using you know those pollution bags i had to buy more i planted more around my house as i'll be showing you and trust me people bought these things really so much and as for now i've already 
supported other seedlings and I'm transplanting them. People are still interested in knowing. People come for advice. How did you do this? How are you doing this? You know, you slowly by slowly become an icon in your community. So if you don't have enough land, maybe you are renting or you know you have only the place where your house is, this is another option. You could buy these sacks as you see them. You can buy them as many as you can and you know line them around your home and plant these vegetables. Now, as you can see, each sack, actually me, I was lucky I used cement bags that were used. And so each of them carries two plants. Or sometimes three, like you can see here. So if these plants grow and you give them enough fertilizer, enough water, enough medicine, they will be able to put on very big leaves, as I'll be showing you in the video. They'll put on big leaves and trust me, you will get money. You know, some people will come around, your friends, they give you money and you can use them at home. Trust me, if you go to the market, buy vegetables. It's really expensive. So think about if you have them around your home in just sacks like this, you can save a lot of money. The money you would be using to buy them, you use it on some other stuff. As you can see, this is a, another venture. This is another line for tomatoes. And we all know that we all know that it is very hard for a woman to cook food without tomatoes. Food is very sweet when it has tomatoes. And so these tomatoes, I also used a very method I've showed you before. And I planted tomatoes. As you can see, they are growing. They are really nice. They have put on each of them more than 20 tomatoes. So I will not be able to eat all this. I will eat and sell. The money we spend on tomatoes is really much. Sometimes you go to the market and they give you only three, 1,000 shillings. So if you have them around you, you just come pick one and cook and you sell the balance. As you can see from there up to here, these are about 45 plants. And if each of them gives you about 30 fruits of tomatoes, you are going to be a rich person. You know, just mindset change. I think I also tried out planting carrots. You know, I wanted to first plant all the things that I love personally, the things that we cook in our home. So that I will first save the money I used to buy them. And also, I remain with some surplus for sale. So this is carrot. As you can see, the camera show them, show them. This is the garden of carrot. It was my first time planting it. But trust me, it is coming out beautiful. So the money I would use to buy carrot, I'm going to use it to do something. Another see there are those are eggplants and i use the other method i showed you in the video about tomatoes and uh, sukuma wiki so these are eggplants i love eggplants really so much and if they are at home you don't suffer with you know sauce you have to go and pick eggplants and cook so i tried to plant them just there around my home and also planted them here as you can see you're able to see they are growing yeah, this is like two weeks after the transplantation and they are growing. So eggplants are also expensive things. You go to town and they give you five of them at 1,000. Think about if you have them at home. Just one of them can give you five or ten. You cook and you sell the rest. Currently, the prices of posho are really high. Like the money we used to buy rice. The money we used to use to buy rice, currently does not even afford for sure. So I sat down and said, the money I used to buy for sure is pretty much. How about if I plant my own maize and make my own for sure? How is that going to be? And so I had to, you know, I told you we had some land. So I had to try and plant this maize as you can see. And it's coming out really nice. And so the money that I would use to... You know, to buy the posho flour, the maize flour, I use it to do some other things. By the it can even pay school fees because if you have a big family, currently our prices, the best posho is around 3,700, 3,500, and the, that one, the list is about 2,800 shillings. So 
if you have a big family, one kg can't be enough, so you have to buy more. So you end up consuming more than 20,000 in a day. If you add cooking oil, tomatoes, onions, eggplants, yet we could just plant all that. And that's how I changed my mind and I tried all this. Trust me, it's going to give me great and greater results as I have told you now. Mm. And so you could even try out this, you know, tomatoes and you plant them on somehow a large scale. As you can see, mine, I tried out and they have put on flowers, they have put on tomatoes, and I'm believing God for the best. So I'm only encouraging you to, you know, wake up from the comfort zone and try something out. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, share it with your friend. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel and more and more coming on your way. God bless you. Bye.